Hello everyone, hope you're well and you're happy. In this video, we're building this interesting clothes and shoe rack. This is a very interesting build. So I customized this build using industrial galvanized pipe. So this is something different that we've never done. So please enjoy this build. Here's a list of the tools and the materials that I use for this build. And please also remember to purchase your galvanized pipe fittings as well. So before you do any DIY project, there's always the joy of visiting your home improvement store or your hardware store. So while you're doing this, enjoy this process while you're visiting and picking up different supplies. So I'm here in the plumbing section looking for the galvanized pipes. This will be for my rack. So we're looking for the galvanized pipe. I think I found them. This is what galvanized pipes looks like. So this is basically, it's like plumbing pipes, but people are used to um, doing like industrial finish to them. So it's the greatest, the latest trends that are happening. So the pipes I'm gonna be using is my thousand millimeter long pipe and also two flanks and then also two different 90 degree elbows so also keep safe uh, when you're holding galvanized pipes because they tend to be a bit rough so what galvanized pipes are is your plumbing pipe so plumbers mainly use this and then now during this time people are using it for furniture fittings so what you need to do first is just to clean them up because there's a lot of markings that comes on them so you need to just remove them and use different tools to just scrape off the surfaces so what i'm currently doing here is just using an old towel and then just to clean up with a you can use i'm using um a thinness so you can use um we can even use sanitizer since we're in a pandemic so you can use anything that has alcohol in it just to remove the rough surface and also the the stickers that they put on So after the cleaning process was done, it's just time to assemble everything. So basically I bought three different rods, which are going to be joined together using your 90 degree el elbows. Uh, so this is basically the two sides are actually the same size. So these are going to help um, to join the two pieces together to form a U shape. So when you get to the store, just take time and familiarize yourself with the different names of the industrial governized pipes. So, cause there's a wide variety of names. There's unions there's elbows they're reducing elbows there's nipples there's bushing there's a lot of different names so um just try to take time and familiarize with everything so this process here is fairly easy you're just using your 90 degree el elbow to just join everything together so you can see i put one of my other hands on the other side so the one thing that i did made a mistake here is that i took out my hand and then the thing flipped so please always support on the other side So basically what I'm doing here, just to recap, I was just, I'm putting everything together using my 90 degree angle elbow, just to join the three rods to make a U shape. So the three rods that I'm using, the size is a thousand millimeter long. So you can also customize this to longer rods as well. Depth of it is about a quarter inch, which is about give or take 13 millimeter, give or take. So um, I was just putting everything together and then it, um, it's fairly easy and simple. The next phase after I was done putting the three pieces together was just to install the flange. This is the flange, oh flange, flange. Yeah, so I'm not gonna buy this one, so I'll show you different ones that I'm gonna use because this specific ones, I, I might struggle to find the specific bolts for this, so I don't wanna struggle so much. And the price as well is a bit too pricey, so I'm sure I can get this for 25 rands, cheaper as well. So I found a cheaper version of the flange on the site called aluminum flange here at home in South Africa, which is much cheaper for, for about 42 rands. I was able to get one flange and it was very convenient. They were actually very quick to deliver. I was so impressed because it took me about a day and then the next day they delivered. So the installation of the flange is fairly, really easy. You just need to roll it and screw everything until it's securely tightened. So the trick here is just to make sure that you have the correct sizes. So the rod size that I have is about a quarter inch, which is fairly about 12.7 millimeters. And the flange size is 15 millimeter. So you need to be very critical when it comes to those sizes. 
since the pipe fitting journey is all done so i'm gonna just show you a bit of a recap of last week's video of when i was making a tv stand so basically this is the previous video that i did where i was doing a tv stand so i'm gonna just do a bit of a recap so if you haven't watched this video i advise that you kindly go watch the video so that you can understand on what is happening because the unit that i'm using here i'm gonna use it as a base for my clothes rack and my shoes rack so kindly i'm gonna put a link on the description and also on the video itself so you can go and watch that video so you can understand the base and everything so basically the base we're using is our tv stand and then we're going to mount the galvanized units on it to make our clothes and shoes rack so it's very innovative it's very creative um it's simple it's functional so if you're planning on doing a project like this so what i advise that you do is that make it your own and customize it to the size that you're going for so if you want it smaller you can do that or longer you can do that so your base of the shoe rack and the clothes rack is going to look like this. So once you have this base, now you can also assemble everything. So connecting the base and also the pipes was fairly, really easy. So what we needed to do is just to put on screws onto the flanks. So the size of the screws that I use are the 19 millimeter screws. Um, and then I needed to just connect them to the base, which um, we're going to put the pieces together. So if you're planning on doing a longer unit or a bigger unit, you may ask an extra set of hands so that someone can assist you to hold everything down. And also, uh, one of the things that I actually realized is that you can also mount this on the wall. And also going forward, you can put cupboards on it, you can put drawers. So customize this per your liking and then you'll be actually very happy to how this turns out. If you're enjoying the DIY videos, please do tell me and leave a comment down in this comment section with any questions and with any praises, with any criticisms as well. I'd actually appreciate those as well. And also please give my video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and your family as well. Now that your clothes and shoe rack is all done, get happy, get pumped up. You've done such a great job. So you can get innovative, put clothes, put towels, put anything that you prefer um so make this project your own customize it spray paint it stain it however you prefer so this is such a beautiful unit um anyone can try this um it's very easy it's very innovative um i'm actually so happy at how this turns out um this is very convenient and perfect for people with wanting to minimize their space or if you just want something different um who ever thought that plumbing pipes will make such a great thing so thank you so much and until next time cheers bye